Okay, uh, this is another tutorial for the CR8 sample player by Waves. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how um, different methods of saving samples. So what I mean by that, well basically let's assume you've uh, loaded in um, four samples here. You can overlay samples in this sample player uh, and you want to kind of save your work. You, you like what you've done, you think, hang on, I'm just going to play it now. There we go. You think, oh, I like that. I've made a few changes. I'm going to save that sound maybe for this project that I'm working on or for a different project. I might want to use that sound later. Uh, just to give you an overview, actually, what, the, what, what that sound is comprised of. It's made of that sound there, that sound, that sound, and that sound. And when I when I unsolo it, um, all together, they sound like that. Okay. So I think, oh yes, I like that, I like that. Um, so there's different ways of saving it. Um, the first one is just save as. Save as, let's call it example one. Okay, there we go. Save as, and what that does, it doesn't actually save any WAV files as such. What it does, it saves the settings you've got here, and it saves it, and it saves the locations of the files you're working with. Um, so it just it marries those two up if you like and just it's a, very, it's a very small file okay but you can still recall it as you wish the other way is to um, save with samples as okay let's just call this example 2 there we go and what this one does this um, does exactly the same one before saves all these settings um, but this time it also saves your files as well so that's very useful if you want to send it to um, someone you're collaborating with or something like that. Someone someone who's got a CR8 as well. Uh, let's just open that up and I'll show you what it looks like here. Um, there we go. So it saves it saves that file there which is similar to the other one and it saves um, your WAV files, your original WAV files. Um, rather unusually here it doesn't kind of save them in one folder, it saves them in separate folders. Each file has a separate folder like so. Maybe there's a reason for that, I'm not sure. But each of these files are the original files, so it's not the affected uh, file. It hasn't been tweaked, so you're always working with the original files there. But but the other file, this file, tells you what's where the tweaks occur and how the tweaks occur. So there's that method there. Okay. Um, the other method is basically, um, and 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 it's it, really this is the same as any how you how you do it anyway. But I'm just wondering if maybe people do or do not know. Um, the other method I would use is basically to save it as a as a sample in its own right, um, kind of a new sample or der derivative or whatever of those. So, so what you want to do really is, 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 is map because the, all those were imported to middle C. I would generally export as a, as a middle C as well. Um, if you're just dealing with basic samples, I mean, obviously, if you get if you want to become well, I won't, I won't delve into other things, but you can map, you, you can create different samples across a keyboard. Um, you know for. In, in different systems but anyway let's forget that um, so so anyway I'm gonna make a sound here oh, need to play it there we go of a reasonable length I think you could make it longer or shorter I'm just gonna shorten that as well there we go uh, and like I say this works in any DW I would then generally put it across to my arrangement window put it in there there we go. And now it's basically a C note playing. Like so. And I, I'm going to simply export that. Um, export. Um, are we in there? Don't some say it. Yeah. And I'm just going to call that example three. There we go, and that has basically exported that as a sample in its own right, um, mapped to, you know, let's see, so let's see, there we go, should be able to hear that. The um, useful thing about that is obviously it doesn't matter where you're going to put it, you could put it in an Akai sampler or a Yolan sampler or whatever, it's a basic WAV sample and requires no other information at all, you know, for, for a CR, from the CR8 uh, sampler. So. So that's um, pretty much how we do it. I hope that's been useful um, for, for the, some of those maybe who who don't know much at all about samples or anything like that. Um, there we go. Um, any comments or questions in the in the comments bar? Please feel free to ask, and I do attempt to 
to respond to everybody.